Today I'm making a chicken korma. Um, it's, it's actually for Tabitha Mitchell. She's always had a chicken korma. And uh, Gareth, I know you want the special shashlik, but that's going to come a bit later. Um, I've got some chicken that I want to do properly. So um, right, this is a small chicken, which is about uh, 11, 1100 gram. It's cooked very nicely and it's very tender. So I'm going to use this one. I'm going to marinate this uh, firstly. Uh, garlic ginger, just a teaspoon. That's half a teaspoon of salt. And that's a bit of whole turmeric. Chicken marinated for about 20 minutes. So I'm gonna add some oil here. It's about three tablespoons of oil and one tablespoon of vegetable cake. <laughs> right, uh, now the chicken. So I'm going to put in the breast first. Bismillah. And the leg. I could have used the boneless chicken. I didn't want to use the boneless chicken. This chicken has a bit more flavour. And I'm also thinking about putting this on the special menu. So firstly, I just want to seal the chicken uh, so it's sort of half cooked and then I'm going to cook it into the curry. Ideally, I want to use the same oil. The oil is going to have the flavour. So I'm going to let this cook for about four or five minutes each side and then I'll go to the next process. I love it. So five minutes and then I'll let that I've left for you, I'm not. for you. No, no. I stir chicken. We're gonna turn it around now. Probably stuck, but it doesn't really matter. There you go. Don't worry about this now. I just want it to get cooked. Once it's halfway cooked, then I'm going to take it out. So, I just don't want it to release all its moisture when I'm cooking. So basically, let that cook for a few minutes and that will be ready. Okay. Right. Chicken's about done now. It's been about eight minutes. Um, what I'm going to do Take it out. Don't worry about that, that's it stuck. It doesn't really matter, that's where the flavour is. So I'm quite busy now, I'm just going to turn that, leave it there while I finish the order, then I'll start on that process. One quite large size onion, I'm just going to grate this. So give it a few minutes, I'll just grate it. Right, um, so I've just heated up the previous oil. You can see the chicken bits are still there, but that's going to be a bit of flavour, so don't worry about that. Right, that's the grated one onion that I had before. So, pour that in. which are a couple of bay leaf, that's a star anise, that's the black cardamom, two cloves and a few peppercorns. This is 
grated ginger. I personally love the taste of ginger and it brings out the sweetness of this. So I'm now doing two full heat spoons of uh, ginger. And I'm going to add one teaspoon of garlic. Let this cook for a bit. I eat for that because actually... <laughs> I just realised it gets a bit dirty so I, I turn it over here and there. Don't want any comments coming in on wearing your apron the other way around. Right. It's been a few minutes. One teaspoon of salt. This customer, there's one customer just ordered a madras sauce, so that's a madras sauce and a vegetable sauce. Um, I always throw in a squeeze of lime, uh, lemon in the madras sauce. See the difference? Show the difference. How dark that is, that's full of chili powder. And that's, that's half the amount of uh, chili powder there. Salmon we're going to grill it in the tandoor first. It's, as you can see, fresh. It's got its skin on. We're going to take the skin off afterwards. It's been a bit of marination. I'm going to throw it in the tandoori. I want the onions, the ginger, and everything to cook in the garam masala, which is the whole spice. I want that to cook out. So I'm going to put in a bit of water and I'm going to put the flame a bit up. And I want that to cook. I'm not going to put all the water in because it's going to, I don't want it to be like a saucy, so I just want all that to be cooked and then I'm going to throw in the spices, I'm going to throw a bit more water in that. So this needs to cook for another further five minutes, the onion, until the rawness goes. So I'll, I'll, I'll show you when that happens. So I'll let that cook for a bit. The oil is rising a bit, so there. The smell of the rawness is going away. Now, I'm going to add something which is, uh, which you wouldn't normally add into the korma, but as I'm not going to have any green chilies, so I'm just going to throw some green peppers. This gets a, another flavour, another dimension. And the spices are, we use a one and a half teaspoon of coriander powder. That's just about one teaspoon of the cumin and one spoon, uh, about just half a teaspoon of garam masala. I'm also going to add because we're going to have it, I want to have a little bit of spice. So just throw it in, as you can see, that's a half a teaspoon of chili powder. That's it, really. That's the only heat. Um, all this goes in. Turn the gas up. Let this cook for a further five minutes before I add some more ingredients. The spices have been in there for a few minutes now. As I said, I put some water in. I didn't want the spices to burn. Now, I'm going to add some more. Some tablespoons, so one, two, three. Uh, about five tablespoons of yogurt. And let this cook for a further five minutes until it dries up a bit, and then I'm going to have the next ingredient. Away. Then, like, the water has just come inside. 
it. So I just go in here. goes in. It's a beautiful dish this one. It's got bay leaves, green peppers, red peppers, salmon, a little sauce, pink sauce that we make. And I'm going to throw in some cherry tomatoes. There's a few cherry tomatoes there. to cook for about five minutes and then I'll serve that. So it's sort of half cooked, so that goes in. I don't want to lose any flavour. So I've used the oil, I've used everything that I should do in this dish. Now, the chicken needs to cook. So I'm going to cook it slowly and find the lid shortly while this is almost done. So that this is a very nice dish which is grilled salmon in a sauce, it's beautiful in flavour, peppers, tomatoes, green it's, it's Fantastic flavour. Must try one of these dishes. So, put the sauce there. And now the steam should cook the chicken. Literally, going to take about five, six minutes. So, I'll be cooking for, I'll be honest with you, about 20 minutes. And that's, that's, your, that's your dish there. So, let this cook for another five, five minutes and we'll check up on that. Right. Gonna check on this. Oh, this looks really nice. The oil has risen over here. Now I'm just waiting for the chicken to get cooked. I'm actually gonna turn this around. Because the breast part is, you know, very meaty. So uh, that needs to get cooked. very nice. It's got a nice slight kick to it. It's the ginger that which brings out the spice as well as the garlic. That's why I added a bit extra ginger. As you see now I had no green chilies or anything instead I used the green pepper just for colour. The sauce is thickened up beautifully. I can loosen this up with a bit of water. In fact I am going to do that. Uh, there wasn't much water in from the chicken. So a bit of water. And I'm going to put it on high flame for a further five minutes. As you can see, it's very low flame. So a further five minutes. I've turned the breast upside down, the other way around. I'll do the same with the leg. I'm up, I'm up. 
five minutes and see how that goes. Right, it's been a further few minutes. We're going to check on this because I've added a bit of water in, so obviously it's getting cooked. So, as you see, the moisture there, I need this moisture to dry up. My lovely friend and colleague here is always cleaning. That's a fantastic habit, and I really admire that because that's a bit like me. But I never get the opportunity because I'm always cooking away. But he's, he's great. It's good to have a great assistant with you. He's a great chef as well. He knows his stuff. So, chicken is still not cooked yet. So, now we're going to put it on slow. Turn it around there again. Another five minutes, so now I'm going to check up on this. Oh, this looks beautiful. This is how I like the consistency of the sauce. You can, however, add some sugar if you wanted to, or some coconut, desiccated coconut over here, got some almond here. I do add that for another former dish that I have. But this time I'm not going to do that because we, we're having it. This is a trial and error. So I, I want to put this dish on the menu. So therefore, it has to be as authentic as possible. Now I'm going to dish it up now. The chicken, as you can see, is sort of breaking off. So you know it's, you know, you know it's cooked. Now this is real authentic flavors. That's the breast. The leg, all the lovely spices, bay leaf. As you can see, there's enough sauce here. Yeah. Mamu, Mamu. Excuse me, come on. Now we're going to get some tasters. That's perfect. How's the taste? It's got a rich creamy taste. Could do a touch more of spice. Okay. Obviously that's due to uh, how we're brought up. You have to use that yeah, spice. Yeah. Yeah. A sweet dish, it would be perfect for someone who prefers a mild to medium dish. Uh, the chicken could be for it. It's definitely for the uh, people who stay low on the spice in it. So there you go. So they, they're pretty much enjoying the dish. Uh, one of the guys who would like it a bit more spicier because he's used to uh, the spicy taste. Obviously, it's an Asian uh, Asian palate. And Halal over here, he's enjoying the dish. He's, he likes it sort of mild style. So hopefully, he's the best of both worlds. So you can taste the ginger in it as well. Yeah, do you like the taste of ginger? Yeah. It's got a different taste to it. Yeah. So it's something unique, shall we say? But would you pay for this then? Definitely, hundred percent. Excellent.